Whether you learn best by reading, listening, watching, or getting hands-on, I have tips that will help you pass the CMA exam. So let's unpack the many approaches to CMA study so you can find the one that fits your learning style today. This channel is chock full of advice you can use right now to study for the CMA exam. So subscribe so you don't miss any of my high value videos. When you buy a CMA study course, you may think you have to approach it a certain way. But if you dedicate most of your time to study strategies that aren't right for you, you will end up wasting a lot of time. Believe me, because I've been in your shoes. I'm Nathan from CMAexamacademy.com. We help candidates like you pass the CMA exam the first time. I have plenty of resources that tell you what to study for the exam, but this video is about how to study. Let's talk about the different learning types, and there are three. First, there are visual learners. You know you are a visual learner if you learn best by reading. Visual learners excel with a great CMA textbook and using visual memory tools like flashcards. A lot of existing materials are made for visual learners. Second, there are auditory learners. You know you're an auditory learner if you love a good podcast or find that you can easily remember things that you have heard. Audio lessons and even video lessons are going to be great tools for you. I'll dive into the third type of learner in a minute, but let's pause here for a second. Do you lean more toward visual or auditory when it comes to studying? It's important to consider which works best for you. Let me know in the comments so we can chat about it. The third type of learner is called kinesthetic, which essentially means you like to get hands-on. Now, you may think this one is tricky because so many CMA study materials are audio or visual. Kinesthetic learners just need to interact with the study material more. I suggest taking notes by hand or typing as you listen or read. You can make your own flashcards as well. There are plenty of tactile study methods that will help you understand and retain content. So whether you are a visual, auditory, or kinesthetic learner, there is a way to structure your CMA studies to succeed. You want comprehensive materials and plenty of supplements as well. For example, check out the link in the caption below to get a copy of my free CMA exam cheat sheet. This is a freebie for you that will unlock even more secrets about the CMA exam. And whether you watch me, listen to me, or take notes, this channel is a resource that can help you pass the exam on the first try. So be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more content like this. Have you found a specific study method that works for you? Comment below so we can all learn from each other on this journey to CMA certification. And have you thought much about what happens after you pass the CMA exam? Up next, Check out my video on CMA careers where I go over this topic and much more. Thank you so much for watching. Until our next video, bye.